Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because my channel is about building our businesses, having multiple side hustles, and also self-care. So if those topics interest you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And today's video is long overdue. So this video is going to be about how to set up a virtual business address for your online business. So go ahead and stay tuned. And I decided to do this video because after reading the comments on the credit video, the LLC video, and the EIN video, I had a lot of people asking what type of address can they use instead of using their home address. So I decided to share with you the company that I'm going with because as you know, I did close down my physical location. And the company that I decided to go with it was iPostal One. So I'm going to be walking you through step by step how to set up your virtual business address. But first I want to go through the main reasons, well my top three of why you need a virtual business address when running an online business. So number one, which is the most basic and the most simple reason that I hear a lot of people say is that they're running an online business or a side hustle from home and they simply just want, don't want to use their home address, whether it's posted on their website, their shipping materials, so they want to have some type of address to put. The number two is when you're filing for your LLC, you're getting your Dun & Bradstreet number to build your business credit or you're filling out for your EIN number and you don't want your personal, well not even your personal, your home address listed on those public websites and then the third reason why a lot of people do it is because you're either always away from home you're moving you're traveling and you don't want to go through the hassle of switching over all your business addresses which you can also use a register agent for this but if you don't want to go through the hassle of that because you're going to be traveling around to different locations you can just get a virtual business address so that way when you're away from home you use the service and then they'll scan in the documents and you can access them from your phone but without further ado because y'all know I like to get straight to the point I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the website and we're gonna go over why I chose I post a one let's go ahead and pull, get the website pulled up so I have the website all pulled up It's iPostal1.com we're gonna go ahead take a look at the home page get some more details about it and as you can see it says the number one digital mailbox service worldwide so scrolling down, securely receive postal mail and packages from USPS, FedEx, UPS, and DHL. And I'm actually going to pull up the plans a little bit later, but you can see it has the virtual mailing address, virtual business address, or the virtual office where you can also add the phone. And I'll later explain which plan worked best for me. So then going on, they have the digital mailbox locations and once you punch your state and your zip in it'll be able to show you which office is closest to you that way you'll be able to pick up your packages and i know they offer more features but they're going to get into that okay so how it works if you choose a location and a plan choose a physical address from 2000 digital mailboxes across the u.s and abroad then we have checkout provide your contact information File form 1583, you'll be assigned a personal mailbox number and receive instructions on how to upload simple one-page USPS form that will authorize your digital mailbox to receive mail on your behalf. So that is very important. You don't want to forget that step. And then you're going to redirect, and then you're going to redirect your mail to that mailbox. So we're going to go down to what can you do with our service, which this section is very important because it's going to tell you everything that you can do with this service. So starting off with forward mail and packages to any address, you can request a scan of mail content. And that's very important, especially if you like to travel a lot. They can recycle and shred unwanted mail, deposit a check by mail. You can add a phone and fax to your digital mailbox schedule a pickup for any of your packages and also shop online so we're going to go continue going down to the other sections so it goes on to say why choose iposta one so their convenience their value real street addresses they have customer service plans with phone and fax we're going to keep going down oh, and that's it now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the plans so this page will just show you the different plans and it's going to compare them, which you can choose a virtual mailing address, which is just for packages and mail. 
You can do your virtual business address where you'll have that physical address for your business to list on your documents or the virtual office where you'll get the address plus phone and fax. So it's just pretty much comparing everything that they offer. And you'll be able to choose which one works best for your business, which I'm going with the virtual business address. So I'm going to go ahead and get signed up. And then it just shows you the plans, how many, how many items you plan to receive per month, which I'll probably only receive 30 mail items, if that. But they do show you it's based on the different mail items. The more you'll receive, the more the price goes up. So I'm going to go with the $9.99 plan. And we're going to go ahead and put in my zip. See which locations are available in my area. There are six results found. So I'm going to pick the one closest to me. And then start filling out my information. Okay, so... I chose to pay with PayPal, so we see they have the one month for $9.99. Phil, I post a one account for future payments, refundable upon cancellation, so a $25 holding fee. Congratulations on creating your Green Plan 30 account. So we are all set. Now all we have to do is complete our USPS form 1583 and get everything figured out and as you can see it has the business address and that's the address that i'm going to list on my documents now we're all set thank you so much for making it this far in the video and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have any comments or questions drop them in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to follow me on my social media channels which is i am destiny adams on facebook instagram snapchat pretty much everywhere else just to keep it simple for you if you need any additional resources you can stop by my website which is i am destiny and make sure you go ahead and stay tuned for the next video thank you <laughs>